Hey, welcome back to Magna Sociology. We're on Chapter 2, Cultural Diversity and Conformity. Section 1, is, we're going to talk about the meaning of culture. Culture is made up of material and non-material products of human groups. A society is a group of interdependent people who share common culture and feeling of unity. Society differs from culture in the societies are made up of people and cultures are made up of products. All cultures share certain elements of technology, symbols, language, values, and norms. So in this first section, we're going to talk about the meaning of culture. Culture is made up of all shared products, both physical and abstract, of human groups. While specific products differ between cultures, all cultures are made up of the same five basic components. What is the meaning of the term culture, and how do material and non-material culture differ, is what should be in your notes. And what are the basic components of culture? So, culture consists of all shared products of human group, both physical and abstract. A society consists of the people who share a culture. Physical products are known as material culture, includes automobiles, books, buildings, clothing, computers, and cooking utensils. Abstract, pot, pot, the proof. abstract products are known as non-material cultures, such as their beliefs, their family patterns, their ideas, their language, political, economic systems, rules, skills, and work practices. Technology refers to objects and rules for using them. Any tool and its usage and any rule that makes a use of an object illegal. Symbols are the basis of human culture. Any words, gestures, or different cultures use different symbols. Language. Organization of written or spoken symbols into a standardized system can be used to express any idea. Values are shared beliefs distinguished between good and bad, right and wrong, desirable and undesirable. Group values help to determine the character and culture. Norms. Norms are shared rules of conduct in specific situations. Folkways do not carry heavy moral significance. Mores carry heavy moral significance. Laws are written and were enforced by the government. So the elements of culture. Culture is made up of shared products of the human group, everything from physical objects to beliefs, values, and behaviors. While cultures may differ from society to society, they all consist of the same key elements. Technology, symbols, language, values, and norms. Technology, for sociologists, technology refers not only to the physical objects, but also how the rules established for using those objects. So technology involves an understanding of how silicon chip works as well as the chip itself. Symbols. A symbol is a commonly understood gesture, word, or object, or sound, or design that has come to stand for something else. For example, the yin and yang symbol originated in China, but has long been recognized as the symbol of harmony in many cultures. Language. Perhaps the most important element of culture is language. The organized organization of written or spoken symbols into a standardized system. In countries such as Canada, several languages are part of the culture. Above, a sign uses both English and Cree, a Native American language. Values. A sociological term, values are shared beliefs about what is good, desirable, and proper. And respect for one's elder is an important value in many cultures. In Thailand, the New Year festival, Songkran, is a time to honor one's elders. Norms. A cultural value are enforced by norms. Shared rules of conduct people follow in their relations with one another. Some norms, such as obeying traffic signals, are formalized as written laws. 
Oops. Section two, cultural variation. Cultures can be very different from one another in many ways. There are, however, certain features that cultures share. These are known as cultural universals. Variations exist between societies, but they also exist within societies. Subcultures and countercultures are examples of variations within society. Sociologists must take care of the view of cultural variations without bias, allowing each culture to be judged by its own standards and not those of another culture. Main idea. There are many elements that all cultures share. Many cultural variations exist, however, and cultures change over time. So, on completion of this section, you should be able to answer the following. What do most cultures have in common with each other? What factors account for cultural variations within cultures? How have some social scientists responded to cultural variation? And how does cultural change occur? Humans have the ability to meet needs in a vast number of ways. They have the ability of only limited by biological makeup and the physical environment. Ability leads to great diversity in many ways. There are cultural universals. Cultural universals are features developed by all societies to fulfill basic needs. George Murdoch compiled a list, list of 65 cultural university, universals. Specific nature of the universals may vary widely between cultures. Cultural universals that George Murdoch identified are common to all cultures, how, how these cultures are expressed. However, it differs from culture to culture. Arts and leisure, for instance, there's athletics, sports, dancing, decorative art, games, and music. Each, every culture will have some form of these items. Basic needs, clothing, cooking, and housing. All cultures will have these needs. Beliefs, body adornment, dream interpretation, folklore, funeral rites, religious ritual, and weather control. Communication education, greeting, and language. Family, courtship, family feasting, kin groups, marriage, government and economy, calendar division of labor, government law, property rights, status differentiation trade. And then finally, technology, medicine, tool making, for instance. Subculture, groups that share traits with each other but are not part of the larger society. Examples are groups organized by age, gender, politics, or geography. Most do not reject all of the values of the larger society. Most subcultures do not threaten the larger culture. Counterculture, they adopt values that are designed to challenge the values of the larger society. Examples are groups such as the cyberpunks, anarchists, the mafia, hippies, yippies, that kind of stuff. Ethnocentrism, a tendency to view one's own culture and group as superior. People from all cultures are somewhat ethnocentric at different times and can lead to discrimination. This can cause home and culture to stagnate. Even professional scholars struggle with ethnocentrism. Cultural relativism. Cultural relativism is the idea that culture should be judged by its own standards and can help, can help explain beliefs or behaviors that seem strange or different to us, but are theirs. All right, let's talk about functionalist perspective. Culture reflects and enforces society's central values. It encourages harmony and stability by integ integrating individuals into society. Subcultures diffuse discontent, subgroups in society. Ethnocentrism encourages group solidarity. Conflict perspective. Culture reflects and enforces the values of those who hold power. 
that encourages and maintains social inequality, subculture and counterculture challenge those in power. Ethnocentrism encourages discrimination against the powerless. Interactionist perspective. Culture is maintained and modified through everyday social interaction. Interaction among subcultural groups helps to transmit customs and traditions and also introduces new cultural meaning systems. Cultural diffusion is spreading the culture traits from one society to another. Today it can happen almost instantly. Cultural lag is the time it takes to, for a non-material culture to catch up to the changes in the material culture. Cultural leveling is a process by which cultures become more or more alike. Some suggest it is the first step toward global culture. The long history of immigration in the United States has resulted in American culture that embraces values, behavior, and material culture from other cultures around the world. Latino influences, especially strong as Hispanics, are the largest minority group. It influences food, clothes, and cars available. Latino holidays are celebrated. Spanish language advertisements are common. South Asians are becoming larger and larger portion of the population. Pa Pakistani and Indian food has quickly become more popular, and Bollywood movies are becoming more popular. Whoops, do it again. Section 3. The American value system. Over the years, sociologists have identified what they believe are the core values of American society. Among these values are work, individualism, morality, and humanitarianism, personal achievement, and others. American values have not stayed the same over time. However, new values such as respect for the environment regularly develop and become part of American culture. So the main idea of the uh, American value system is that even though America society is quite diverse, there are certain core values the vast majority of Americans share. So in your notes, which you should have at the completion of this section, are what are traditional American values and how, how have our values changed since the 1970s? American society is made up of many diverse groups but there is a core set of values that the majority of these groups share. Personal achievement, doing well in school and work is important. Gaining wealth and prestige is a sign of success. Progress and material comfort. History is marked by ongoing progress and progress improves people's lives. Work, discipline, dedication, and hard work are signs of virtue. Individualism, hard work, initiative, and individual effort are keys to personal achievement. Efficiency practically and practicality. Every problem can be solved through efficiency and practicality. Getting through things done well the shortest time it is very important. Morality and humanitarianism. Judgments should be based on the sense of right and wrong. This sense of morality also involves helping the less fortunate. Equality and democracy should have an equal chance at success and the right to participate freely in government. And freedom. Personal freedoms such as freedom of religion, speech, and press are central to the American way of life. These are essential American values. So our core values here in America are nationalism, patriotism, science and rationality, racial group superiority, education, religion, and romantic value, romantic love. Our while the United States has a set core values, new values have changed values are sometimes noted. Our new values are the importance of leisure, physical fitness, youthful society, self-fulfillment, environmentalism, and progress. 
self-fulfillment. Some scholars see self-fulfillment as a healthy new value, while others view it as, ex it, it as extreme narcissism and is detrimental to society as a whole. 